Hey, hey, welcome back to the shop, folks. I'm glad you had patience with me because this thing trying mine. I appreciate you coming back to see how we're going to wrap it up, and I hope we wrap it up today. We got our carburetor on. We got to get them fuel lines. We got to get this tank clean, and we got to figure out why we only have power on one outlet. Meanwhile, you got a generator question. You got a problem you're trying to solve. I tell you, the go-to man I use, that's Mr. James Condon. He is the generator guru. You got a question, check him out. I'm sure you already know about him, but by the slim chance that you don't, the link to his channel is in the description. He's got some good stuff. You all gonna wanna see it. Let's get into this thing. Let's wrap it up. Wish me luck. Guys, this shop is full. Camera angles are at a premium right now, so that's the best shot I can get you. I can't back you up. I can't get you no closer. Looks like on this tank I got two bolts holding this to the frame. And on the back side, it's just sitting in a channel. So but right now, it looks like all I need to do is bust these two off. Fuel line's disconnected. And let's get it off of here. Get it down. See if we can't get it cleaned up some. Going to use this tool today. Get that thing off of there. I hear the cheers. Woo, look at that. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Seems free. And that is about simple. Look for spiders when you do this. I don't see anything. What you got me? Ah, uh, little old vent hose. Place that. There we go. I believe we are clear. Now, get a better look at what's going on in there. That thing is awful. You want to take a look? I'll see if I can show it to you. That's a nasty one. No doubt about it. Let's clean it up. I think the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run this thing outside and I'm gonna hit the garden hose to it. Cause there's a lot of loose stuff. It ain't loose, it just looks like jelly down in there. A little rust and jelly. Let's do that and then we'll drop a chain in there. Shake it about, see where we're at. Spray some multi-use penetrate lubricant inside that tank now that I've rinsed it with a garden hose. And I'm gonna drop this chain down in there and shake it about. I'll be back. All right, I got that tank basking in the sun out there. What I did first step is I rinsed it good with a garden hose, nozzle with some pressure, drained it. Then I blew it out with some air. I put a little bit of penetrant oil in there and dropped the chain in there and shook it and shook it and shook it. And then I rinsed it again, drained it, blew it out with air. Then, and then only, I poured some 99% alcohol in there, not the drinking kind. Rinsed it out good, blew it out, took a rag, soaked up what I could, it's sitting out there in the sun, let the rest of it evaporate out. Meantime, 
Let's get into why we only have power on this outlet. Originally, just testing it with our shop light, we only had power on this outlet. Got nothing over here. So, uh, when we get in here and take a look, and I might have to take you down and bring you in here. See what we find. You do not have to have the bestest equipment in the world to do some simple diagnosis on some of this stuff. I don't know how long I've had this thing, but I can guarantee you, I haven't paid a fortune for anything. And what I want to do, man, let's just put it on a little setting. It just makes a little buzz when they touch. I'm just checking continuity. Let's get in here and take a quick look at what we got going on. On the front of this thing, it says 120, 240 volt, 30 AC, amp AC. That's key. I'm gonna double check. I'm not positive. But I believe what that's telling me is that it's a two legs of 120 coming in to this receptacle from the from the gin head. And when I trace it out, following from this breaker back here on the back, follow it back in, I got two different leads, one coming here and one coming here. Follow me? So let's just check all of these breakers, they're not tripped. And the one that's carrying that, the reason I point out that the one, the 120, 240 outlet, I noticed the one that's not working draws its power from it, from this leg. And uh, the 220 or 240 outlet, that one's got continuity on it. But when I check the one that's feeding the outlet that's not working, I've got nothing. I got nothing there. I can't, I can't get it to reset. I'll go ahead and check these other two. And I have nothing. I, well, that one's good. Hear a buzz, and then I'll check this last one. So, I'm thinking this breaker is actually bad on the inside. I got my one. I ordered it. It came in. Let's wire it up, and then, by golly, here after a while, let tank be ready. We stick it on, try it out. A pair of pliers, get this little collar off, see if it'll bite. I'm no expert at these things. I ain't an expert on nothing. I ain't gonna lie to you. The hardest part was finding one that the doggone didn't have just spade connectors. It connected with screws. Screws are what I want, all that vibration. I was afraid a spade connector eventually would shake loose. It don't matter which side goes to what. So I'll wrap this up, go get my tank, mount this panel back up, get me some fuel line on there. And man, when I come back, I hope we're making power. If we ain't, it ain't because we didn't try. I got this cover back on, but there was something I wanted to point out to y'all, and I forgot to, because this breaker that I replaced is feeding one leg of this, the 240 outlet. That means if he'd have plugged something into this, he would have only been drawing 120 volts off of this 240 volt outlet. We got our new breaker in. Got that carburetor plumbed up. 
Got it wired back up. I ain't needing the wires up yet now. I will, but uh, I want to hit. I, I want to hit Ron. Uh, got a little fuel in it, and I, when I say a little, I mean a little. So, uh, because uh, this thing came in, had a uh, uh, half gallon of gas and five gallons of water in it. And I ain't going to give him but just enough to run it out the door. Get this old bracket back on. There we go. And choke on. Turn the gas on. Give me a minute. Let me make sure I ain't leaking. Look pretty good to me. Let's crank this. She'll crank up. if you turn it on. Let's take it off choke now that we don't pull it. We got power. That's all I know I'm going to do to this thing. Change that oil and neaten up them wires. Hope you got something out of this. I sure was nervous this thing wasn't going to make no power out of, that, out of that outlet right there. But it did. And I'm glad. Hey, how about a thumbs up? Subscribe. Hit that little dingy bell. Y'all know how to do it. We'll see y'all next time. Yes, sir. I got, I got to go. I got to get this oil out and go, go eat his dinner.